Hey, what's up guys? Once more on this account, now without music and with my own commentary about this base time. 41 for Town Hall level 17 without pumpkin, but who cares if I have a pumpkin or not? You can pass HVMG without, with any legendary hero you want. They just have to be strong. You need strong buildings, strong hero bases, and high level skills. That's all what you need. There is no requirement for Cupid, Spirit, Mage, Grizzly Reaper, Paladin, whatever hero, even Druid. Ah, so, I changed few things in this. I found that I was wasting some walls in this part. There was no need for free tick here. And also, I removed some walls from this part. There was only. There should be only one tick wall. And there was two tick walls. Also, I added this one wall right there. I'm not sure if it was a good decision or not. Fuck, I had this bug. But we will see. Anyway, increasing uh, maze would force me to add one wall, one wall right there, one wall right there, and there. So, I still don't have a town hall level 18. And, okay, let's talking more doing. Let's get to this job. HBMG, I haven't tried H yet. Or maybe I tried, I don't remember. Uh, in first wave, as always, they will destroy all the buildings. Mm. And one thing, if you are having a problems with heroes jumping out of the walls in this part, this or this too, you can fix it by doing one thing. Yeah, only one thing. It's something not very original because I saw it in many, many bases. You just have to move maybe one wall from this part or from maze. Just try to figure out which wall can move and put it in this place. Yeah, exactly this one when I'm where I'm showing with my mouse. Uh, and also right there. And if you are losing, using some flying heroes that are very helpful in heavy monsters, because they don't have to come close to an enemy they are ranged, most of them, I don't think if there are some flying not ranged heroes, but they should be in my opinion. Mm. So Grizzly Reaper, Spirit Match, Cupid, now this new Dragon Hero, and some more. They are very helpful because they are flying and don't jump out of the walls anywhere. So, I suggest you to put them from this side when you have this one tick wall. And add additional walls right there when you have, where you have three tick walls. Why? Because right there it's much easier to put wall. And what's going to change? Heroes will run one square farther from this walls because going there and around this one tick wall is a waste of time and mm, other things yeah that's just the fastest way oh, we have one building destroyed it's a gold vault on only 16 level so not very high lower HP than towers and as you can see without any problems all these heroes are killing uh, enemies. Mm, now it's time about thing to uh, trying HBMH and the last wave. Without any problems, mine no. What I'm talking about, not mine. No. Dino. No. Was killed, all other heroes were killed with a nice amount of experience. As always, 40 shirts. Lucky me, it wasn't a mana. Mm. And that's it. As you can see, this base is working. If 
you have your own preferences for putting all these buildings in other configuration like in four corners one two three four or maybe around near to the border of your base uh, that's just your own preferences the most important is this part in the middle thanks for watching don't forget to like this video comment and this is my Facebook fan page, you will find link in the description. Till next time. For you, through PL.